on guys and welcome to my channel. Today is a plant update video where I'm gonna give you all the amazing updates and all my plants inside and also outside. So let's get started. So first, like always, we are going to start with the Easter and Christmas cactuses. This is my big Easter cactus. Right now with Easter cactuses, all you can expect really is just new leaf growth or seeing old leaves fall off. That's the kind of thing you kind of want to see right now until around Easter time when the buds will come out. But right now, you just want to water the sky when the soil gets completely dry because they are kind of cactuses. So wait till the soil is completely dry before watering them and fertilizing them every two weeks. And at the end of this video, I will show you all the fertilizers that I use. So here's my other two Easter cactuses. We see this guy doing really well. Lots of new leaves. It's amazing how well it's doing. This one, not so much. It has one leaf left there. Um, that's still in good shape. The others have died off. Um, again, I'm not doing anything different between these two. Um, they get the same sunlight, the same water, the same fertilizer. So, it's just maybe this is one a little bit more and it's dying off. That happens sometimes, but it's totally, totally fine. Don't freak out about it. It has one good leaf left but if that leaf decides not to keep growing then it will die off it's it's okay it happens you can always um reproduce them so easily all you would have to do is take a leaf from one of these guys and plant it in there and it'll grow so simple love it so now on to my christmas cactuses which i'm excited about so here is my big christmas cactus as you can see it's growing lots and lots of leaves which is something you want to see right now because in the next few weeks, um, when it gets colder, you're gonna want to put them in a cold area overnight while you sleep and then bring them back into the sunlight. So yeah, it's not that cold currently in Florida right now. Um, it's still showing the signs of summer, <laughs> sadly, but that's what it is in Florida. But once it does get cold, I will start putting them in the cold room at night. So you see this Christmas cactus, which is doing quite well. Lots of leaves coming in, which is amazing, which is what you want to see at this point. Again, you want to see leaves at this point, especially this close to where they're going to start to want cold air and going to start producing buds and flowers and they're gonna be so pretty, it's amazing. So here is my last Christmas cactus here. As you can see, this leaf is starting to die off. It's totally fine. I let them fall off on their own. I don't try to chop them off or anything. I just let them fall off on their own. And when they fall off, that's when I get rid of them. So I don't try to, I see it dying. I'm not gonna snip it off directly. It's, uh, I don't do it because I just don't feel like doing that. It's not something that where you get affection for it or not. But I, I just don't like to, I just, I would just let it fall off on its own when it's ready. I don't like to make them do anything. So this is very, very exciting to see lots and lots of new leaves, even though we have that one leaf that's dying off, but it's totally fine. So here is my aloe, who is doing quite well. Um, I have a couple leaves that are starting to die off. We got this guy right here that's doing it. And then this leaf, you can see it's very skinny right here, which is kind of a sign that is going to fall off as well. But other than that, the other leaves seem to be doing quite well with this aloe. Um, all I do is I water it when the soil is dry, I fertilize it every two weeks. That's basically it, and it gets lots and lots of sunlight in this room. So now we're gonna move on to my favorite plant, which is the Philanopsis orchids. So here's this Philanopsis orchid that is growing, a flower spike right there. Um, it's also growing this new leaf right here. Um, I did check these last night and the root system is doing quite well. I'm really, really, really excited about this. because I'm really, really excited to get flowers back. Um, it's been a few months since my orchids have flowers. So I'm really, really excited to get more flowers in. Especially for the ones that already have flower spikes, which is amazing. So we've got this guy right here and it has this beautiful flower spike. It has this leaf coming in, which is amazing. Its roots are growing quite well. So everything is looking good with this guy. Again, I like to keep the flower spikes um, 
towards the sunlight because that's the way they're going to grow anyway. So if you don't want like a bending flower spike, keep them in, try to keep them in the same position as before when you move them so they are stay in the same sunlight and they can kind of stay as straight as possible. So next is this guy who also has a little bitty flower spike. Not a big one, just a little bitty one right here. This is this little bitty flower spike right there. And then it's growing this long, long root. That's a root. Oh my goodness, that's so long. But it has this leaf coming in right here. Um, so, yep. Yeah, they go through all the same process that I do all my orchids in. So everything is looking good. I just want to see this little bitty flower spike trying to get bigger. That's just only like a little thing for me. But everything else is looking good. The roots are growing well. It's drinking lots and lots of water, which is what you want to see. You want to see it drinking lots and lots of water, especially if you have it in a water culture like I do. All of my Phenopsis orchids are in full water culture. Full water culture is where you have your orchids in water 24 seven. So yeah. Semi water culture is when you have it in water about three to four days out of the week. So that's the big difference between the water cultures. So we got this big guy. He has this big flower spike right here, which is growing quite nicely. And we got this leaf growing. And we got these area roots that want to grow out the side. Um, but everything else seems to be looking really, really good. I don't see any signs of any rotting or anything and we have a new flower we have a new spike right there right there is right there that's the new flower spike the new root sorry that's the new root that's coming out it was barely seeable the past couple of weeks but today not so much it wants to be in the camera today so here is my baby orchid right here this is my baby because it's the smallest out of my bunch and we got this we'd like to stay outside everything else it seems to be doing quite well we got the leaf coming in we got roots growing like crazy at this point um i'm still gonna hold off on putting on in, in its new container right now because it still has plenty of room to grow so i'm not really gonna be worried about that right now uh, when it gets a little bit more root growth and gets a little bit more cramped up that I can tell that I'll take it out and I'll put it in its new container, which I bought months ago. So here is my last Phenopsis orchid. This guy is doing quite well. We got the, this leaf right here, just staying still. I got no leaves saying it's gonna fall off or anything, but everything is looking good. I got lots of roots in the water. I have two roots in the water right now and I got another one growing downward. So that's gonna be good. The more roots in the water, the better for me. So that is going to be it for the inside plants. In just a second, we'll go outside and I'll show you all the amazing updates that I have outside. And I'll see you guys in just a sec. Okay guys, we are outside. Here is the mother aloe plant. As you can see, she's growing lots and lots of new leaves. And all of her babies seem to be doing quite well. I don't think she has any new babies at this point, um, from what I can tell. I don't see any new babies, but everybody seems to be doing quite, quite well. Okay guys, here are the poncettas. As you can see, this one I'm a little worried about. It's not really growing, but we got this one over here is growing quite well. Yay! So sad about that one, but this one is doing quite, quite well. I'm loving it right now. In the next few weeks, we will start doing things to make the poncetta start producing its flowers for Christmas. And here is my rose bush, who seems to be uh, giving me signs that it's not doing so well. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably water it today, just so it gets some water in it, so it doesn't completely die on me, because that'll be really, really sad. So yeah, that's my rose bush. The leaf has completely died, so I'm going to water it for the rest of these plants because it hasn't rained here in a few days. So water it, give it what it needs, and hope that this heat it will come back. Okay guys, we just came back from outside. All the amazing plants that are doing quite well. Like with the rose bush, I will have to water it because it has not rained here in Florida for a few days. 
So it might be getting all the sunlight and not enough water. So I'll go outside and make sure it's watered with all the plants outside and make sure all these guys are doing quite well. So that is going to be it for this week's plant update. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. Share it to grow our community and subscribe if you are new here. I do these videos every single Tuesday and hit that bell right next to the subscribe button so you never miss a video. And I will see you guys next week.